Hi guys, so in this video, I'll be sharing how we're going to use the sine wave generated by the oscillator by the Behringer wing to enhance the sub bass of a song or a multi track. So now we have a sine wave at 62.3 hertz already set. Now I have set to channel 33. Okay, channel 33, oscillator 1. And now I have a multi tracking running. So we have a kick sub here, which I muted just for this demo purpose. We maintain the kick base here. So in order to use the sine wave to generate the punch around frequencies, maybe 60, 70s, frequencies that give you the thumb in the chest. So we are using the gate of the channel 33. We are using this gate with the with the key source from the kick drum channel 31 and the frequencies of hundreds why hundreds is because when i observe these signals the major frequency is coming from the 100 hertz therefore i'm using the 100 hertz as my indicator and the guide to trigger the gate the threshold the attack and the risk will determine how how well the bass will blend into your kick bass so let's have a listen now it's without any sine wave and now let's on the gate this channel. Can you crack this channel? I also can move around, play around these frequencies. Lower. Unmute. So there you have it. So if you're interested, I'll be making another video uh, how to use the same technique for uh, music from the 70s, which I personally feel that some of the music is lacking in terms of the punchiness. I will share the link here or in the description below. And see you next time. Bye bye.